All right, everybody. In this video, we're going to focus on building a bone. Specifically, we're going to go with the long bones. We're going to do the process of endochondral ossification. So during the process of endochondral ossification, we're going to start with a blueprint. So we're going to start with a hyaline cartilage model. And so bear with bad art, but it kind of looks like that. All right, so we're going to start with this hyaline cartilage model. So we're going to fill it in with hyaline cartilage. And that hyaline cartilage model is going to have chondrocytes in it. So chondrocytes are the cells for cartilage, but the goal is to turn this into bone. So we don't need to keep these cells as chondrocytes. We can actually fill them up with calcium because that's the ultimate goal. We're going to make bone. We're going to fill everything up with calcium. So we're going to take our model and those chondrocytes that are in there are going to start to expand and calcify. So I'm going to draw it with little stars here. So those chondrocytes are going to start to fill with calcium. So the goal in my picture, if you wanted to follow along color coding, is that I'm going to keep the hyaline as blue. And then anywhere that we're going to add calcium, we're going to go with yellow. So there's our blueprint. And then we're going to add that calcium inside. So we're going to have the chondrocytes expand and calcify. So then let's take the same picture and now we're going to start adding bone around the edges. So we'll go back to here's our hyaline cartilage model. We have our chondrocytes on the inside that have expanded and calcified. But now we want to start laying down bone. And if you want to start laying down bone, we're going to need osteoblasts as our bone builders. And we're also going to need the supplies. So we're going to need blood. So we're going to put blood supply at the edges so that way we can then start putting bone at the edges. So anytime you want to lay down bone, first you got to get blood there. Once we get blood there, now we can replace the outer edge of our, our um, model with our calcified with our bone. So we're going to have blood to the edges. So that way we can make that bony collar. So we're laying down a superficial sheet of bone and what's going to make up our diaphysis of our, or a shaft of our long bone. Now, so take the same picture. So we started with that hyaline cartilage model. We had it filled up with that hyaline cartilage. The chondrocytes expanded and calcified. We put our blood at the edges so that the osteoblasts could put the superficial sheet of bone on the edges. But now we want it on the inside. So what do we need if we're gonna build bone? We need blood supply. So the blood supply will penetrate and that allows us to start laying down bone on the inside. So that's going to be our next step. So blood supply penetrates. And that allows us to make what we're going to call our primary ossification center. So we can start laying down bone. Now, this would be really heavy if it was solid bone. So what's going to happen is we're going to start laying down bone. And then we're going to come back behind it and change what it looks like. So same in our house. When we want to change how things look, we're going to remodel. So let's go back to our picture. Hyaline cartilage model. So we got all that hyaline cartilage. The, can the chondrocytes expanded and calcified. We had our blood supply that came to the edge. We put our bone on the edge. We had our blood supply penetrate. And we started laying down bone and we put the bone pretty close to that blood supply. But what we're going to do to remodel is we're going to remove some of that. And we're going to start moving it out. So we're going to have osteoclast chew up some of that bone we just laid down. And we're going to move it over and we're going to chew right behind those builders. And so what you end up with is an open space that we're going to call our medullary cavity. So that's our process of remodeling. We still have a blood supply in there. And that is going to allow for these living cells inside of our bone to still get nutrients. But that's our next step. So at this step, we're going to do remodeling. So that way you can make the medullary cavity. Okay, so now we need bones up at the ends. So at the epiphyses. So again, same plan. We have our hyaline cartilage model. We had those cells expand and calcify. We put our blood supply out there. So we could put bone on the edges. We brought that blood supply in and we started laying down bone and then we started remodeling that. So here's kind of where we're at, right? Looks like this. There's our medullary cavity and there's our bone, our compact bone along the diaphysis. And if we want to put bone at the epiphyses up at the ends, what do we need at the ends? Well, we need more blood. So we'll have our blood supplies up in our epiphyses 
that allow us to make our secondary ossification center. And I'm gonna draw this one a little bit messier because we're gonna make spongy bone up there. So at step six, blood to the epiphyses. And that allows us to make our secondary ossification center. And then our last bit of growth is gonna keep happening anywhere we have hyaline cartilage. And so this gap right here is going to be where we can continue growing. So instead of kind of keep repeating, let's just kind of put what we have right now. So we have our blueprint that now has the bone on the edges. It has that medullary cavity. It has our blood supply along the edges and the inside. We have it up at the top along with our spongy bone. But there's a space in between. And that, oh, I got really close up there. And that space, if you remember, if we're keeping track of our color coding, has that blue hyaline cartilage. That space is known as our growth plate. So this is also called the epiphyseal plate. So we're gonna continue growing at that epiphyseal plate until it closes at puberty. So seven is grow at epiphyseal plate. So we're gonna keep adding length at this space. And eventually what happens is this primary ossification center is going to meet that secondary ossification center in a process called epiphyseal closure. And at that point, everything is bone. You have formed an adult bone, you have spongy on the ends, you have compact along the sides, and in between the two, you are out of cartilage. And so once you're out of cartilage, you can't make any more. So our epiphyseal closure is going to form what we call our epiphyseal line. And don't forget, all of this needs to still have blood because these cells are alive. So our last step is epiphyseal closure, which forms the epiphyseal line. And that's your endochondral ossification. Endochondral ossification.